But today what I'm trying to do is I want to show you what's in my Run Commute backpack. All right, this video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. I normally don't like to film from over here, uh, at least for this, for these kinds of videos. Uh, the lighting's weird, so I'm trying a couple of things that are different. So I've been run commuting for since last summer, uh, and I really got into it to do it on a very regular basis over the winter, uh, especially as um, when my wife was traveling a lot. Uh, this last holiday season and so I would use run commuting as the only way to get my run in when the girls were at school and, and daycare So that's been working out really great for me um, And so here's what I normally do in terms of uh, how I get my morning commute done um, I wear my puffy jacket because it's winter in Chicago and it's very very cold So I'll wear my puffy jacket and then whatever running layers that I'm gonna be wearing in the afternoon So I'll wear this to work and so I'll wear, this is my Under Armour running jacket and either a tech shirt or just a t-shirt underneath or even more layers depending on what the wet weather is. Um, I'll normally wear, because uh, I still am going to work, I can be a little bit less uh, or much less formal on top, but I don't always want to wear my running pants. These are my running pants. Uh, they're by TCA. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. I love these. I'm going to buy another pair. Um, they've been holding up really well. Um, but I'll normally wear like a Dickies dad pant or just any other pant, jeans, whatever, uh, on the bottom layer. Uh, so that way I doesn't look like I'm completely coming straight out of the gym. So at least I'm wearing something um, more acceptable in terms of a pant. Um, I'll usually pack socks. I'll normally wear my running socks. And in the winter I'm wearing longer um, running socks. Um, so I'll wear these and... Um, I'll also have a pair of dress socks. So I normally have to wear a, um, a suit to work. And um, so I keep the suit at my office and I change when I get there. So if I don't need to change, I'm just in my jeans or my dickies uh, and my kind of running sweatshirt. Uh, if I do have to change for work, I'll get out of all this clothes. I'll put my suit on. I've got an undershirt here. I've got, uh, today I'm gonna be wearing skinny red tie and then uh, a work shirt. Um, which, is, which is what I have here. I normally, I like, whenever I find something I like, I just buy like a ton of it. And so this is a Tommy Hilfiger slim fit, no wrinkle, wrinkle free. I don't know if they call it no iron or wrinkle free, wrinkle free shirt. I've got six of these. Um, they're perfect uh, for exactly what I need to do. And I usually keep those all inside a packing cube. And the main reason for that is just so that way, um, depending on what else I'm carrying, the work shirt stays a little bit sequestered from everything. So this zips up here. Um, this is a packing cube that I got from eBags. I've had this for a while. I had it long before I started kind of doing the run commuting. Um, so this is just a bag that I happen to have at home that works for me. And so uh, here's some other things that are in there. I keep my eyeglass case. And normally I put my contact lens in here. So that way kind of all the eye stuff kind of stays together. When I need to run, I'll put my contacts in, take my glasses off. And this goes in here in the bag. Um, but let's put the glasses back on. When the weather's a little bit brighter out, which it hasn't really been yet, but when it gets brighter, um, I'll also put uh, these my running sunglasses. These are by Gooder. I love these. I love the mirror finish. They're really lightweight. Uh, and the material, whatever it is, it's not so much like a finish that's on here, but the material uh, does a really good job of staying on your face. And so if I'm bringing the running sunglasses, I will put these inside the running case and this will go inside the bag. To round out what else I'm carrying, sometimes I try not to carry uh, a laptop if I'm going to be run commuting. Uh, I have a laptop uh, at work and so then I have this laptop that I can kind of leave at home most of the time but sometimes I do need to bring it. If I need to bring it, this is a 2017 MacBook uh, 13 inch. Uh, this gets, I can do most of my work on that thing. Um, and it fits really nicely in the bag. And then other stuff that I carry on me, these are my running uh, earbuds, the ones that I like the most. These are um, Odium Beats clones. I don't know what the exact product name is, but um, I like this style the most where it has an over the ear loop and a wire connecting the two and nothing on the wire. So nothing to like create imbalances in weight. So normally when I go running, I'll put these on over the ears, 
I normally have my contacts in too. And then this is my Manfrotto uh, cell phone holder. So a lot of the Instagram shots uh, that if you guys follow me there are taken with this. I put the cell phone in this thing, put it on the ground, get the video started in slow-mo, and then we'll go that way. This usually just goes in my pocket. This is my GoPro. I usually run with one of these. Not necessary for a run commute, obviously, but I put this in. I'll take the jacket off when I need to go running. And I have gloves in here because it is winter time, but I'll keep those in my jacket pocket normally during the day because I'm commuting and that's how I need to get uh, to work. Uh, so I have these in there. This will just go in the jacket pocket whether I'm running in this Under Armour one or uh, my Nike one, which is the other one that I run in frequently. So let's get that zipped up. All right, and so now I'm ready to run. Got my gloves on, got my earbuds in. This is how I'll, I'll run home. I'll put everything in the bag. Now let me show you what that looks like. Oh, also what I have here is um, some way of wiping the baby's nose. Uh, normally I carry like a, um, a baby washcloth or a baby rag uh, for her boogers and anything else she might touch because uh, we do commute via CTA. But um, right now I'm trying to use up, I found a pack of these uh, Santa Claus or uh, Christmas themed uh, tissues. So we'll use these up. All right, so when it comes time to be at the end of the day and I need to get everything home, I'll change back out of my work clothes, uh, get back into this stuff, and then I will put, uh, take my pants off and um, switch them out for these running pants. If it's really cold, I'll also put tights on underneath. The reason why I like this jacket, it's like one of those bubble jackets. Uh, this one's by L.L. Bean. Um, it's packable. All right, so this is this. It's got a lot of air in it, so you can, I usually just put it on the floor and kneel on it to squish a little bit more of the air out. So normally what I keep in there is a uh, changing pad, and that'll go inside the bag. The bag is pretty much just one big compartment. There's a little bit of a mesh pocket up here to um, store things that you want to have a little bit quicker access to. And then this is a spot for like a water bladder if you're going to do that. There's a little hook for a water bladder. I don't ever need that or use it. Uh, and inside there's a layer of like uh, cardboard or some other kind of material that's in between you and the bag. So I'll put the changing pad in here because you never know with a baby uh, if you need to change a diaper somewhere. This is a little reusable bag. Inside I keep uh, a spare diaper and some spare like hand and face wipes. And that goes in here. That I'll usually put in this part as well. And then I also keep a plastic container of wipes, that in here. And uh, this is the junior epinephrine that we have to carry for my daughter. I always have to have some around uh, her. She's not old enough to really carry it herself, so I usually carry that for her. And then I put, take the bag, squish it down, and I'll put that in there, stuff it in, right? Or sometimes, depending on, you got it, it's a little bit of Jenga every time you're working it around. A little bit of Tetris. This is my neck buff. If it's cold out, I'll put this on underneath as I go. So now I've got kind of a flat layer. Put this in here. All right. And then these are my running pants, but let's pretend these are my work pants for now. That goes in here. And then I'll have my contacts in. So I'll put this in here. All right. And this is just a uh, collapsible bag, a reusable bag, in case I need to go to the grocery store. These socks I'll be wearing, and these gloves I'll be wearing, and these napkins will go in here. So then, it looks like it's a little bit of a tight fit, but everything in here is mostly air, and so you can usually squish it down a little bit. I've been kind of like, I usually push down and, and zip, All right? So that's what it looks like. I don't have the MacBook in here right now, but the MacBook can fit in there if it does, if it needs to. Um, this backpack, so there it is, 15 liters. That's how you can fill it 15 liters really quickly. And so if you're a type of person that has a much bigger laptop that you need to carry, um, anything bigger than 13 inches probably isn't gonna fit in here, nor would I really want a much bigger backpack if I'm gonna run with it. 
my run commute home, uh, if I take the most direct way, is about four and a half miles, the norm route that I normally take, which is a little bit more scenic, less traffic lights, lots of cars. Um, that one is about uh, six and a half to seven miles. Uh, so uh, that's a long way to go with a, with a laptop on your back. Plus, I just all the jostling uh, would make me really nervous over a long period of time uh, to be running with a computer. Now, my computers are all solid state drives, so no, no moving parts, but there's still physical connection connections and connectors in there, so that would make me a little bit nervous. Um, but this is the pack. There's two kind of like side stretchy pockets, and sometimes I'll put the GoPro in here or the phone in here on warmer weather if I don't have a pocket in my jacket, just so that I'm not holding everything at the same time. Um, there are waist straps. These waist straps can come together uh, so they don't get caught in stuff when you're walking around, but then they go around your waist when you're done. Let me put this on so you guys can see. Flip this chair around. All right. So get this on. Get my hood out. This on the front. And around my waist. And this is what it looks like uh, when I run commute home. So when you see me running, this is about the amount of stuff that I normally carry. I don't always have to carry a work shirt. I don't always have to carry a laptop, but this is generally a pretty good representation um, of what I have to carry for work and what's in my running commute bag. Chicago, 45 degrees and sunny. I got a nice kind of tailwind on my back. Heading home.